please tell me what happened to your child what happened was my child had gone home and i have come to pick my child and the teacher didn't know if she had only showed concern like oh my god is she, have you not picked her oh yeah, my god yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, this is, can i not say that it's raining i'm like excuse me uh-huh i thought i was done with that woman mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> god forgive me oh. i called the police i called safeguarding i'm like if you don't know as in the way she even answered me i'm a nobody it pained me do you know before i came back my neighbor called police ah! the child was left unattended i am telling you Oh God! The explanation you, you have even, to give. I don't have to give an explanation. I told the police to go and warn that neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, wonderful people. So, if you see the beauty here, <laughs> ah, she's called JJ, hey. Juliet Jesse. You need to subscribe to her channel. It's one of a kind. It's not migration, relocation. <laughs> no. Hi, Jesse. Welcome. <laughs> You're so funny, this girl. <laughs> Welcome. Now, now the high puma. Hey. By the way, she laughs after every word she says. Welcome to another episode of Migrant Trends. Today, I have your Juliet Jesse. Just look at this video. Not staying in this house, so he has to go. That's why we're doing it. The, the, outcome, the outcome at the end of all this is that he has to come with us. It's not going to change. That isn't going to change being stood here. Yep. So we don't really want to have to do that by force. We'd rather him just get down off the bed and walk out the park. Talk for him then. But I'm not going to. I'm afraid. I said to, to the carers even so before. I've done that last time. And we were in court on Tuesday. Uh, it was Tuesday when he came home. When is the way in court? We went before the judge and they said, this is why the boys, they, what they're saying is, because he's been hitting this and this. So when he comes back, how about these two little boys? He's doing it because he wants to come home. That's the only reason they have Listen, against we him. We cannot alter that outcome today. Right now, here, we cannot alter that outcome. The outcome is the same either way, whether we're here an hour or five minutes, he's still coming out of this property. Yeah. So I agree. the best way to do that is for you to go in and to try and talk to him. I'm not going to talk to him. So you're not I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to convince him. You'd just taking him, him out by force. Yep. I can't convince my son to go out of his own house, no. You're making this a hell of a lot worse now. 2133, So an African mother scolds or punishes her 10 year old son. The son tells an outsider and then it got to the police and then to the court. The court granted order for the boy to be taken away from the parent to foster parents. The 10 year old boy now realizes his mistake and wants to get back to the parents or to the mom. He runs away from the foster parents to his biological parents' home. Now the drama. Oh so the video you just watched is the police officials trying to get the boy back to the foster home. Since the court order still stands, the police came to pick the boy. Now the boy realizes that there was no place like home with his mom and learned his lesson that no one would love him more or better than his mother. What are your thoughts on this video? Personally, I understand where the government is coming from with safeguarding the child and the children and all of that. But the truth is, there is still no one place like home. And nobody can love you better than your parents. I don't know if you've seen that video. Annie, 
Annie is an American movie where Annie was adopted, like, but she was in a terrible foster home, and this girl was just fostering children, like, was a foster carer, caring for children just for the money, not because she cared. Uh -huh. You remember that movie? It's I a hard watched. knock life. For okay, it's, a, it's an old movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's coming back now. So it's in their head that those foster homes, it's not like they are not good foster homes, don't get it wrong. They are good foster carers, they are good foster parents. But the truth is, they cannot love you. Like, your mom is your mom, your dad is your dad. So when I looked at that video, I was just putting myself in that lady's situation. God forbid I should be in that situation anyways. But then I was like, if it is me, what am I going to say? I'm not going to ask. The part of the video, she was like, can you tell him to follow us? And yes. she's like, no, I'm not going to ask I'm not, I, I'm not gonna I, ask to leave myself. the house. No. <laughs> and I, I, and I, and I support her. I honestly not, understand. I I she cannot do that. I can tell him not to come with us. So that is basically the same thing. That you, no, it, it is. A you're asking me. You're, you're asking me to convince my son to go somewhere no, no, he doesn't want to be. To convince. One no, that's what you're asking no, me to do. You wanted to convince him to stay and to refuse to come with us. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Call, I, did I tell him to come here? No. You told him to. Did stay I even and not know he was gonna come here today? No. Have you or have you not told him to not come with us? No, I've said to him. Listen, have have I said have I said to him not to come with? With you? No. It's his choice. If he wants to yeah. come, he can. But come. it's not his choice because the court have said, the court have said that he has to like, come with us. What I'm trying to say, we doesn't me. matter what you're trying to say. I'm not going to listen to what I'm saying. The child is going to regret this for the rest of his life. Yeah, but the truth is, and the, the fact that he back. ran away, at least it should let the police officials think something. Exactly. Like I was just looking at my the police, and you know what got me a little bit pissed a bit, a bit was a woman. Like the, the there was a the lady, there was a, 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 a police woman as well. I was like, I am telling you, I'm like, excuse me, just try run away from this house. If this home was heaven, would he run away? You know, like back home when you go on holiday to your rich uncle's house. Regardless of the father, it's not your uncle. Even if it's a distant uncle, but the fact that the home is nice, it's cozy, it's beautiful, or maybe better than your own home, you don't want to go home. So if that home was, was better that than good, was that the good, the child will not have no run, that away. Child will run away. And then Regardless explain to me why there were five, six policemen coming to take a ten-year-old child. That is so <laughs> sad and so pathetic. Yeah, that one is so. That rings a bell as well. Like that is like subtle. Like, oh, we're going to black people. Who knows what they're going to be up to? Let's go with adequate support. <laughs> Back up. That's the way I interpreted it because that house was too small for the number of policemen and women. And it's just a 10 year old. For a 10 year old child. But then it's not up to me to tell them how to do their job, anyways. But the thing there is, we African parents, we have to be very careful. I know that it is difficult to change an adult. If you're used to this parental style where you uh, incorporate corporal punishment as a way of disciplining your child, it can be quite difficult to stop because it's. Sometimes yeah, like you see it, yeah. I will, you know, yeah. And it can be quite difficult and it can put you in trouble. I'm saying that I acknowledge the fact that there are actually some parents that are wicked that are probably physically abusing their children. Maybe I watched a video like this American video on YouTube where the mother was starving her six kids. They were all very lean, extremely malnourished. This is in the US. They were homeschooled, they were not going to school, no hospital, no being educated. So like it was really bad. Their own parents, biological parents, they said they were protecting them from the you know western world and all the vices around blah 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 but they were doing By it stabbing your child it was it was really bad so one of them later escaped and then it was a whole thing altogether these are the kind of people that the police should be protecting their kids from you know not a mother who just scolded the child and then went to say it's outside and now just this child scolded. that's what they said they said scold or punished but we don't know exactly what the punishment was but this is a child who now is running back and then if you watch the video they were literally trying to force the child the child did not want to go that should tell you something at least but court order still stands so yeah. there's nothing they could do and yeah. that is really sad they have to do their job they have to do their job well. but it's it's really sad and i don't know why like you said that woman was literally asking the mother to tell the child to leave the house i was just imagining me being the mother the mother I, no yeah. it really scares me because like you said that like, that's the kind of punishment that i've been used to all my life that's the kind of punishment <laughs> that i know so like these things really really <laughs> scare me please please allow me to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video lemfi i have not spoken about lemfi for a while because Lemfi temporarily paused the activities in Ghana. But guys, they are 
stack even better. So if you're hearing LendFi for the first time, LendFi is a money transfer app that allows you to send money from the UK, Canada, and the US to over 10 different African countries at no transfer charge. When you send the money, the person gets the money instantly. Whether you use an Android or an iOS, you can always download LendFi with a link in the description and start sending money now. LendFi has a 10% cashback offer when you use my referral code NANEL. So if you're sending £100, you get £10 back. If you're sending £200, you get £20 back for your first transfers above £100. Even after that, you can also generate your own LendFi referral code in the app and let friends and fam use your referral link and you get a bonus when people use your link. Interesting, right? So guys, I'm recommending LendFi. Ever since I discovered it, that's what my friends and myself have been using. The app is very, very easy to navigate through and to understand. You can send money from the UK, Canada, US to countries like Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Benin, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, okay? And no transfer charge, zero, zero transfer charge. Let me not talk too much. Just give it a first try. And if you like it, do well to come back to say thank you. Thank you so much, Lenfai, for sponsoring today's video. You know, and this child obviously had no idea saying this to their friend would lead to this. And you know how hard it is to lose your own child. I know when the child goes into custody, you know the whole hassle involved in it. And you will be very lucky to get that child back before 18. Unless you have a family member or somebody who can sign mm. to take custody of the child for you. So it's a whole lot of stress for the parents. And it's such a sad story, actually. But then it's something for all of us to learn from. Yeah. An African parent, if you know yourself very well, you know the kind of punishment you are doing for it. Because it, children are not supposed to be punished actually if you want to live in a western country you have to abide by the rules and regulation of the land and if you're in a place where you're used to doing things that are not obtainable here or that will put you in trouble in this part of the world then you have to start preparing your mind before even relocating and you have to even start practicing it so you get used to it if you're used to spanking your children and you know you want to travel abroad please stop spanking them dear you are if you're in nigeria you're in ghana you're in kenya you're in zimbabwe stop spanking them in preparation <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes sense because yes, it will be very difficult yes. to suddenly stop. You cannot just stop it overnight. This is something, oh, I'm planning to travel yeah. abroad. I'm doing English tests. I'm looking for admission. I'm doing this. Stop spanking your children. Stop change. Stop every form of corporal punishment because it is not allowed in the Western world. You know, that's the first step. This is the only way to avoid this kind of situation because a lot of black families are getting into it. And the truth is, this would they don't take it for granted. Like, in fact, something that they will slide, like, they will just brush over it if... I've seen cases like this being brushed over when it involves a white family. Uh -huh. But then when it's black family, there's an extra interest because they know our background. They know this thing. They know that in most, it's our uh, culture, in a, yeah, we, in the most African countries, children are not heard that yeah, same. And children are irrelevant kind of. Children are this. Children are, uh, you know. And they know that we are stricter in yeah, terms of yeah, raising so kids. So. They all, and they watch this things in, in our movies. Netflix is not helping. Like, internet is not helping. They see all those things. You know, there was a TikTok I saw, right? A girl was like, I want to prank my mom and see her reaction. If I call her by her first name. Yeah, I've seen did that one. That? I've seen that one. She did not feel. I think she had a slap or something. My goodness, that's what that's what She was doing something with the pen, Ah, then really, she put it on her was, face. Yeah. Oh my god. That was We've so got no much. chill. Yeah. No chill. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I did? I went to the comment section. <laughs> You don't believe what I found. All the Oyubo people were like, oh, these Africans, you just got no chill. Like, how can you do that to your child just for calling your name? Like, that was too yeah, much. Your, your, your daughter can call you Juliet and get away with it here. Like, it's like, normal. No, yeah, but they won't call me Juliet anyway. But then, even if they do, I'm not going to react that like, way. I'm just going to laugh. Like, excuse me, boss. Why did you just call me? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. And the reaction was really, really extreme. And they see those things. So, TikTok is not helping. Facebook is not helping. You know, they're seeing how we do things. So, they're really, really interested in our case. One time, I went to pick my child in school and my child was not in school. How? And I asked the teacher, where is my I came to pick my daughter? And she goes, she does, I don't know where she is. I ran mad. Hey. <laughs> I came to pick my daughter. I was like, what do you mean you don't know where my daughter is? Like, I came to pick my child. Uh-huh. And she's like, can I not see it? She answered me in a very rude way. And I tell you, Nanel, I didn't take it funny. You know why? I didn't take it light at all. I involved safeguarding. I called the police because I know that if it was all the way around, there would be no mercy now. I made it big because how can I come to take my daughter? And you're not even like, oh, I'm sorry. Where is she? Oh my God. Like, showed no concern. What did she say? She said, can I not say that this is red? Because that it was actually raining. It was chaotic. My children go to a very big school. Regardless of that, it is your responsibility to, to look after to my keep, Yes, yes, care. yes. So far no, as you're out of my care. I understand. Yeah. I understand that yeah. there could be situations where you're not able to, because in that day it was raining. Okay. And they were, if you go to pick my children in school, it's like you went to Paris. You know, like a big park, Disneyland. Or like a festival. Like, everywhere, everywhere. like a festival. <laughs> the first time, <laughs> when I first looked at it to be a fast, <laughs> like, oh, 
oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is this and then it was raining and then all the children they are trying to safeguard them from the rain and the people were everywhere so i understand that if she had only showed concern like oh my god is she have you not picked her oh yeah, my god yeah, where is she yeah. oh, can i not say that it's raining i'm like excuse me uh-huh i thought i was done with that woman mm-hmm. <laughs> <She's dead. laughs> mm-hmm. go forgive me oh i'm not sure if that's why but i know that because i was invited i took it really up i called the police i called safeguarding i'm like if it was please tell me what happened to your child what happened was my child had gone home and i have come to pick my child and my child had gone home and the teacher didn't know and you know what I, why i was very annoyed was because there were situations where i haven't come early to pick my child and they were calling me i'm like well can she not go come home and they're like no she's still young now my child that same child of mine that is still young, young to come home now come home this because person has gone live, home i don't live very far from school okay i don't live very far from school now this child is too young to come i've come to pick my child you're telling me you don't know as in the way she even answered me nonchalantly like i'm a nobody it pained me good and i'm like you're gonna say something by the time i'm done with you good eh? <laughs> It, it paid me. You did it well. Paid me. It paid me. It did why, well. And why I took it so serious was because of this kind of situations, because of these issues. When it is black people, I'm not being racist. God forgive me. I'm not being racist. But the truth is, they don't take it light. The other way around. I've seen my neighbors where where I used to live before. The children will be in my house from morning to night. I'm like, is your mother does not? Can your mother not call you? Have you had lunch? I will have, <laughs> You know, and nobody cares. But if it is an time, African parent, they will say that in that same house of mine, my husband went to work and came back. He did night shift, was sleeping. You know, at some um, primary one will close at one, primary two will close at two. Primary two okay, okay, yeah, three. the time. Yeah, you know, the timing can vary depending on the classes. So I brought home my child. That time she was in primary one, and then my husband was actually at home, and then I went to pick the my other daughter, one. my son, my the older one. Do you know? Before I came back, my neighbor called police. Ah! The child was left unattended. I am telling you. Then my child was left unattended. The neighbor called police. I know. I'm like, excuse me. In this neighborhood, actually, when your husband was asleep in the house, my husband was at home. My child was eating. The only thing was that you know, like just her husband just opened the window and then she was just looking out and you know. But she was at home. She was comfortable there. My husband was at home. This girl called before I came back. Police was in my house. Oh God. The explanation you have to give. I don't have to give an explanation. I told the police to go and warn that neighbor. Am I giving? What do you mean? No, because now you have to say, oh no, my husband is in no, the house. I, you know and what's was... funny? They insisted on searching my house. I said, go on, search my house. And of course, you know, trust my house has been looking very nice. Hey, <laughs> we are going to have a house. That's a, that's a different <laughs> conversation altogether. I said, feel free to search my house. I was upset when they first searched my house. I said, did you, stop, did you find my husband there? They said, yes. I said, go on and warn that neighbor. Because you know what I think? He, he or she is racist. Sometimes, yeah, so, sometimes you need the spirit of an Nigerian woman. I was woman. so upset. I was, really, I was so, so upset. Like, I'm like, why would my neighbor and you know of course they won't tell you which neighbor did that but i know the neighbor that did that even without being told so see you leave after bringing your child in they probably thought oh there's nobody in the house you've left the child pa, 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 let me call like, that's, that's they're so probably sick. in the window the whole time watching you so when they saw you they thought ah african woman she's left the child i was so upset but i told the policeman so listen i am not an asylum I'm, not, I'm sorry, I don't mean anything wrong. I am not here to collect anything from your government. Like, they literally are begging me to come and work. And if one of those, my neighbors that called you, if one of their children has studied nothing, I won't be here. And since that, after that, I had some peace. But sometimes she would just come to my house. Oh, can you tell your children to stop making noise? I'm like, they're kids. Excuse me, they're kids. But their kids will make the worst noise. You know, and then you or your lesbian friends are making noise and I'm hearing it from my room. <laughs> and I, you can know, you imagine? You know? It's all noise then. It's all irritating. Like, so I understand when I was looking at that video, I understood it like I felt the pain of the mother because I have been in, you know, oh, those God. kind of police situations. Yes, and though I'm not scared of police, in fact I would have loved to be a to be a police. Oh really? <laughs> yes. You would have looked good. Yeah, in I like uniform. them, I like them, I like the police people, you know. I like I just like them. But I don't know why I like police people, but I just like them. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, so that's that's the thing. The thing is just as parents, African parents, begin at home to delete those habits those habits that you know will land you in trouble when you come here that is the easiest way to avoid all this harassment and then when you're on your right if they harass you sit up stand up and get them i know just don't let anybody don't be uh, <coughs> afraid, afraid of police police is your friend 
<laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Actually, the police is your friend. They're but your then... friend, so don't be don't be scared. But then just avoid. Make sure you're on the right, not on the wrong. Yeah. It's just that simple. I'm just hoping that after this video, after this, if the court should see how this boy desperately wanted to be back home, maybe they can reconsider, and then you know. Definitely, and if anybody that you know just. Common sense will tell you that home is better than wherever he is. There's yeah. no way. There's no two way about it. Yeah. Eh? Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.